Hey, what's up, fellas? I just finished up my last part of lifting weights today. Today is there. Here is the uh, wall of fame or shame, whatever you want to call it. I don't want you to think that I'm, um, I did, uh, anyways, it doesn't matter what I did. It matters that, um, I had a young, young man stop by and evidently spring football starting. This is, uh, in between, like, <clears throat> I won't spend more than 45 minutes uh, sitting down before I do some reps or something else. Uh, shut the door. Young man stopped by, and he wants to get married. He thinks he has found the woman of his dreams who is going to fulfill all of his desires, and they're going to ride off into the sunset like some sort of fucking Disney movie. And uh, he left. He left, and he was very upset with me. Because I told him he shouldn't get married till he's age 35, and he has established himself in the world. Very upset with me. Very, very, very upset with me. And he said some, um, he said some, um, he just said some things to me. I don't think he meant because he was, he's a young man. And you know what? <clears throat> As a young man, you're supposed to be passionate and all of that stuff. So, um, but I will tell you this. There's a reason why back in the day, they, the families of uh, a man who would try to marry a woman, they would say, no, you have to go off into the world and make yourself, make yourself into something before you can take my daughter's hand and the rest of that stuff. And being horny, wanting to have sex all the time and thinking you're in love is not the same thing as being in a relationship. <clears throat> if you get married, marriage is about duty and responsibility. It's not about love. It's not about bunnies and meadows and flowers and rainbows and all that shit. It's about duty and responsibility. And if you think it's anything other than that, you're a fucking dumbass. Um, this young man did not want to hear that. Um, I'm in love coach. I love her and she loves me. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. We are going to make things happen. And I asked him, how much money do you make a year? Because it doesn't matter. And, you know, at some point in time, even as a coach or somebody you're trying to help, you just have to punch his pilot. Let him go. Let him go. Um, I did... I got a phone call from the girl's parents and I got a phone call from the man, from his parents. <clears throat> and both of them asked me, they just wanted to know, I think they thought I was going to try to encourage him to at age 19 to marry an 18 year old girl and start a family. There are too few of you good hard-working young man. For the rest of us who have been through the grinder to let you try to fuck your life up, and I'm not saying, you know, I, I, let me, I want you to be able to support a family and a woman you love. And you can't do that. I got, I, I was married with two kids by 21. <clears throat> I can tell you, if you can't support the woman you love and you can't support the family, because let me tell you something, if you don't think you're going to have sex, you're out of your mind.
anyways. Young men, it takes time, energy, and effort to get where you want to go. I do not suggest that any man gets married or gets very serious about a woman till he's age 35. And you have, and if you establish yourself in the world before that, God bless you. Good luck to you. Go for it. But if you have not established yourself, meaning you have enough resources to take care of yourself, a woman, and a child, then you shouldn't be entertaining getting married. That may seem harsh or rude or mean, <clears throat> but it's the truth, and I've lived through that. Uh, there's a reason <clears throat> neither one of my fucking sons talked to me. I haven't seen or heard from Duke James Forsyth or Derek Joshua Forsyth since 2016. They won't return my phone calls. I send them texts. I send them all that kind of stuff. They just don't understand why. And you know why? Because they got married too early. I wasn't established, and they suffered. They were poor. They didn't get the... Anyways... i tell you this, gentlemen, please go back and watch some of the older movies where the guy has to go off and prove himself. Make his, make his way in the world before he can ask for your hand in marriage. Things are much more difficult than they ever were for me. And I would never, and you know what, I, I don't think I'll ever see that young man again. Almost said his name. Um, he was very upset that I told him the things I'm saying right now. And I, I will tell you this. I believe completely in the men go their own way. And the red pill community. I think they have figured out something that I should have figured out when I was younger. And it's why I'm an advocate for them. Women, when I was coming up, are not like the women that are out there now. And uh, God bless you, men. I wish you the best. And there are a lot of things that I would like to help you with, but I can't because your lives are so much more difficult than my life is. I'm going to do whatever I can to help you, but I will tell you this. Unless you're established in the world and you can physically, financially, and emotionally not only provide for yourself, but provide for another person, you should not entertain getting into a long-term relationship or getting married. All right? Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can, and if you can't, take care of yourself. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.